Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 times Samurai Jack went beast mode. Ah! For this list, we'll be going over the occasions when the title character of this animated show went all out on his opponents. Epic fights or great moments that don't feature Jack won't be considered. Since these awesome moments contain big plot details, a spoiler warning is in effect. If there's a beastly moment we missed, we can't get back, back to the past to change it, but please tell us about it in the comments. Number 10. Taking Down Champion Warriors While captured in the Dome of Doom and separated from his sword, Samurai Jack is forced to do battle with various gladiator-like champions. But his mercy towards his opponents draws the crowd's ire. Eventually, the Dome's announcer sets multiple champions on Jack at once. Like the master warrior he is, Jack uses his foe's attacks against them. He even tricked them into attacking each other. After making handiwork of all the champions with the help of his sword, Jack goes after the arena announcer and sets his fellow prisoner warriors free. Clearly, Jack was not entertained, but we definitely are. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Is this not why you are here? Number 9. Jack vs. the Ultra Robots After Jack is disturbed by several bouts of senseless violence in various villages, he eventually tracks down the culprits, Ultra Robots. These mechanical monstrosities were specifically designed to defeat him. Why? Why did you destroy all of those villages? To lure you to us. To draw you out. Wielding a variety of weapons and featuring bodies even his magic sword can't cut, Jack is initially overmatched. However, the Ultra Robots creator gives him a robotic gauntlet that augments his strength, allowing Jack to go to town on these villainous robots in style but the gauntlet eventually stops working. However, Jack's prayers to his ancestors deliver a power boost that lets him slice the final bot in two. Great ancestors, hear my plea. What are you doing? If I am worthy, grant me the strength to vanquish this evil abomination. The formidable opponents and Jack's awesome appearance make this an excellent fight. We think the final Ultra Robot described it best. Unbelievable. Number 8. Raging After a Coup Destroyed the Last Time Portal In this flashback, Jack hops through a time portal he found in the mountains in an effort to finally return to the past and undo a coup's evil. <laughs> Unfortunately, the villain snags Jack and pulls him back to the future before destroying the portal. Aku rubs salt in the wound by saying there are no more left. With the knowledge that Aku has seemingly stopped him for good this time, Jack gets really properly furious. He blindly pursues his nemesis in a rage. Although Aku retreats, he leaves behind several monstrous creatures that Jack unleashes full fury upon. Tragically, the monsters are revealed to have been the cute ram that Aku mutated. While processing the fact that he took innocent lives, Jack also loses his sword. And so, I was not able to find it again. Sometimes beast mode backfires. Number 7. Defeating Opponents Before a Drop of Water Falls Jack must fight off all manner of mercenaries and bounty hunters during his travels, but one group stands out so much that an episode is basically devoted to them. The diverse group of hunters each present how they would go about defeating the hero using their own unique weapons and skills. 
as the samurai enters the town, we will wait for the final showdown. Concealed we will be. Our surprise he will never see. They ultimately decide to work together to accomplish their goal. As Jack approaches their position in the slowly melting snow, they suddenly attack. However, before a nearby drop of water falls to the ground, Jack manages to take them all down in a spectacular display of martial arts skill. And then he walks away like it's no big thing. What a boss. Number 6. Dueling Zombies and Aku Thanks to Aku's machinations, Jack is led to a foggy graveyard. With his arcane powers, Aku raises the warriors interred there to battle Jack. Jack literally dusts all the undead who attack him. However, they all return to fight him again. Eventually, Aku himself makes an appearance and takes Jack's sword for himself. Although things look dire for Jack, the sword proves unable to wound him. He then turns the tables and drives Aku off with a furious attack. I will get you yet, Samurai! Featuring a memorable atmosphere and some excellent choreography, this is a fight that still haunts us with its greatness. Number 5. Using a Bamboo Sword Against Enemies Within a rainy bamboo forest, Jack encounters a wannabe samurai who challenges him to a duel. After thoroughly humiliating the man with only a makeshift bamboo sword, the pair of them are attacked by an army of assassin droids sent by a coup. Jack then illustrates just how strong and skilled he is by defeating each of them with his bamboo sword. Even the droids attempt to combine into a more powerful form proves unsuccessful. The rain-soaked environment, the intense music, and the buildup help make this short battle a powerful one. It certainly helps show that Jack is dangerous with just about anything in his hands. Number 4. A Samurai Uses Ninja Techniques while saving a village, Jack is drawn into a trap by a robotic ninja sent by a coup. The samurai manages to avoid the assassin's initial ambush. Upon realizing what he's facing, Jack reveals that he's been trained in ninja techniques too. Unlike his opponent who hides in the shadows, Jack chooses to hide in the light. I know your arts as well, but I have been trained to use the light. In concept alone, being able to hide in light is awesome, but the way this fight is executed is straight up legendary. Jack and the Shinobi trade blows in black and white as the sun sets nearby. Eventually, Jack uses the reflection of light from his sword to blind his opponent long enough to defeat him. The highly stylized animation makes this black and white bout an amazing fight. Number 3. Beating the Beetle Drone Army In order to defend a pack of intelligent dogs from a rampaging horde of Aku's beetle drones, Jack lays plenty of traps to take down the robotic insectoids. He utilizes spears, arrows, and a mount to even the incredible odds. Once he gets down to his sword, Jack's inner beast is truly unleashed. He ignores the injuries he received from the battle to unleash his fury on the drones with a ton of slices and dices in slow motion.
By the end, he stands atop a mountain of broken drones, victorious. This may have been one of Jack's first battles, but it's still one of his most brutal and memorable. There is no escape from how awesome this fight is. No, there is no escape. Number two, eliminating a coup. Jack has got to get back, back to the past. It is in the theme song after all. Got to get back, back to the past. Samurai Jack. And with help from Ashi, Aku's daughter, Jack is able to finally travel back in time shortly after the moment his journey began. This time he faces a weakened version of the foe he's hated for countless years. You're back already? No! Jack holds nothing back, cutting Aku down to size until there's nothing left of him. And for good measure, he blows up Aku's lair. With the whole series behind him and 50 years spent fighting in the future, this is Jack at his most powerful. It is done. Well, almost. Before we get to our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Getting into a scuffle with the Scotsman. Few people could fight a warrior of the Scotsman's caliber for a full day. Aye, you got a lot of pep for a wee laddie. Defeating Demongo and his warriors. Jack fights every great warrior Demongo has collected. Beating his dark reflection, Jack's fight with his inner anger made manifest is so intense that it lights a forest on fire. Fighting the powerful Guardian. This time, Portal Guardian pushes Jack like few others. Outmatching the archers. Defeating three blind archers while blindfolded himself. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Overcoming the Daughters of Aku During the show's final season, Jack encounters Aku's seven daughters in a battle. Although they initially have the samurai running for his life, he makes a breakthrough and takes one of their lives. Although this puts him in a bad headspace, he reorients himself and confronts the remaining six. Jack manages to take another three down in the ensuing battle before ending up atop a fallen tree and eliminating two more. Although his conflict with the last daughter, Ashi, doesn't end here, the rest of the battle is more than worthy of being highlighted. Jack's rapid-fire choreography, ability to switch weapons with his opponents, and the fact that he's willing to put them down permanently puts the samurai at peak beast mode. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.